three things on my mind this week that I want you to know about. First up, Greenland. It's a big island. 56,000 people live there, and President Trump wants to buy it. Now, you think it's some kind of joke. Why? In 1946, the Truman administration made an offer, 100 million. Now, Denmark handles the island's affairs, and they were like, nah. Greenland is rich with mineral resources, and its location makes it extremely valuable for strategic and military purposes. Yeah, we got bigger problems and should probably invest in other things like, you know, clean water in Flint, Michigan, and updating this country's crumbling infrastructure. Plus, Greenland says it's not for sale, but it's not necessarily a dumb idea. Second, let's talk about Israel. The country said no to two Muslim congresswomen who wanted to visit. Israel didn't want them stirring up any, you know, trouble by badmouthing the country. Now, these are two of the congresswomen who President Trump is having a little tiff with, and he didn't think it'd be a good idea for them to go there and badmouth Israel during their visit. Now, I thought America was in the business of projecting the virtues of free speech. My bad. So if somebody from, I don't know, Canada came to D.C. and started badmouthing the U.S. and Trump, would it be okay to send them packing? When something politically advantageous comes in direct conflict with the Constitution, what do you choose? I thought so. And finally, pumpkin spice. It's too early, it's too much, and it's going to kill us all. Here's what I saw in my newsfeed today. Pumpkin spice spam, pumpkin spice pop tarts, pumpkin spice salmon, the hell's wrong with you? And of course, the goblet of gastrointestinal garbage itself, the pumpkin spice latte. Now, until this thing is being served at hospitals as an experimental cancer drug, I refuse to talk about it on the news anymore. It's got so much sugar in it, it's killing you. All of you. 50 grams of sugar is a quarter cup. The holiday pounds, that's where they start. And they want to start shoveling this crap at us in August. And for a limited time only, you know it's going to be there through New Year's. That's six months, half the year. Not a limited time. If you tweet about it, I'll unfollow you. If you post to Facebook about it, I'll post skull and crossbones gifts to your page. And if you wave one in my face, seconds later, you'll be wearing it like a hat. Now, pumpkin haters, join me in my quest to save our nation from walking like zombies straight into a diabetic coma. Drink pumpkin spice, you're rolling the dice. That's what I'm thinking. Holler at me on social media with your thoughts.